Hi, I'm Tim Carter, Whiskey 3 Alpha Tango Bravo. I'm a ham radio operator. I know I don't maybe look like one uh, dressed this way. I'm getting ready to go to church in about an hour and a half. I want to tell you where I was yesterday. I was just below the seven mile marker on Mount Washington in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Very, very beautiful place. I love going up there. I was one of the radio operators that was helping out for the 2018 hill climb. It's a world event, world class event. Riders, bicycle riders from across the world come to this event every year because it's one of the most challenging bicycle races out there. The reason why, the riders go 7.6 miles and they're basically going uphill the entire time. All right? And some of the grades on this road are very steep, especially the last 200 feet. I think it's about a 25% grade and it really challenges the riders. Typically, we hope for an uneventful event, as crazy as that sounds. And what that means is we want the event to go off where no one gets hurt and no one really needs help. That's not what happened yesterday. We had one of the participants who required a transportation to a hospital. I was able to capture the last part of that radio traffic for you. It's towards the end of this video. If you are an amateur radio operator that wants to work in public service events, you should really listen to this closely and listen how professional the net control operators were with respect to the ham radio operator who was there where the situation occurred. I think you're also going to enjoy seeing the conditions that can happen up on this mountain. Uh, it is not for the faint of heart. If you are a new amateur radio operator, you want to work up on Mount Washington, I just want to tell you one thing. Make sure the first time you go out, ask the person who is in charge of the event to pair you up with a professional who has already been on the mountain several times. Uh, you have, you're going to be putting yourself in some type of danger, believe me, because the weather on this mountain is not for the faint of heart. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm Tim Carter, Whiskey 3 Alpha Tango Bravo. behind them coming up. Okay, that would be Sweet 2, not the, not Pasha. No, Sweet 2. Greg. Okay. Yeah, stand by there until Pasha gets there, and then uh, you can probably go down. But we'll uh, advise me at that time. USL, will do. Sweep 1, that control. Uh, that control, Sweep 1. Sweep 1, go ahead. Okay, I'm at 9 here with the ambulance, and, um, I'm just uh, coordinating. Do you have any instructions for me, uh, rides or anything? Uh, base net to uh, sweep. I'd like an update from that location on the patient. Nine's got an update. Nine has an update. Okay, uh, nine. Give us the uh, checkpoint nine. I'd like an update, please. Yeah, checkpoint nine. Uh, the ambulance has loaded the female rider and they're going to take her to, a tr oh, they're going to transfer her to something else at the base and then uh, take her to AGH, uh, Anaskagan, and uh, they put the bike in the, uh, in the uh, med van with her. Okay, very good. And do you have one of the mobile med crew there? Uh, I've only got the uh, med unit with two, uh, two people. Okay, very good. Advise uh, when they uh, depart from there. Uh, Medgator, net, base net. Uh, 